What the fridge? Ahoy, matey. I see you've escaped Davy Jones' locker and are stranded on an island, I... Or should I say, a forsaken isle. <clears throat> I mean, hey. Hey, you guys. It's Val, aka Bitmon. And <laughs> for the road less fun, this is my review of a Forsaken Isle, an indie game by Smoodles, a very, very talented game dev from the UK. The current goal is pretty clear. You're a pirate stranded on a desert island, and you must gather resources and craft items to survive the Forsaken Isle. Build a house, make a farm, spend your time fishing. Heck, you can even hunt pigs, sheep, and even more to gather resources. You'll even sometimes stumble upon chests which will hold items for you to loot. You'll need to find the resources to build yourself an axe and chop down trees. You know the drill. A good old survival game. Despite from being in early access, Forsaken Isle is a really stable, fun crafting game that will leave you wanting more. Being a survival game enthusiast, I couldn't wait to see what this game had in store and I was pleasantly surprised. The crafting system is vast and solid, the pixel graphics are gorgeous, and even if it's in early access, the game offers more than 10 featured biomes, more than 400 items to discover and craft, and over 30 monster types to, to combat. This game has so much potential in so many areas, and with Smoodles updating it constantly, there's so much more to discover. If you follow him on Twitter, you'll discover that to this day, he's already working on more monsters and bosses, having a crafting book to remember the recipes you've discovered, and even more. I wouldn't be surprised that the music will be coming soon as well, as it is still a lacking in game. Which, by the way, would be my only complaint. Oh no, wait, perhaps several save slots would be nice too, but honestly a game this solid is bound to have those things very soon. I streamed this game for a couple hours and the people really, really enjoyed the gameplay. Some of them added that I did the game on their wish list. some of them bought it. This game has a lot of potential, it is very cute, it's super fun, so this game should be on everyone's Steam list for sure. My TLDR? Forsaken Isle should cost more than the very cheap price it's advertised at because this is simply one of the rare indie gems you'll find in 2015. Savvy. What? What the fridge? <laughs>